This is Caleb with Make. Now, this year at New York at the World Maker Fair, I was really inspired by some artists that were inside the Dremel booth. There was Jamie Locke and Hank Robinson, who did custom engravings. I talked to them for a bit, and they convinced me to give it a try. It turns out, engraving things is fun, and it's pretty easy to get started with. So I'd like to share a few tips with you to get you started engraving. What you're going to need to do this is something to engrave. I chose this ukulele. These Mahalo ukuleles are dirt cheap. It was like 20 bucks, and whenever you scratch the surface, it shows up really well. Aside from that, a Dremel would be nice. Uh, I've got this old one, the Dremel Multi-Pro. Corded one, but it's really heavy and it has a cord, which is a bit of a pain. So what I'm gonna be using for this is the Dremel Micro, which is really light and it's battery powered. I love this thing. I haven't put it down since I got it. Aside from that, you'll need a design that you wanna engrave on something. For this, I'm gonna use a stencil of an octopus. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna have to do is get the stencil onto the ukulele so that we can actually use the Dremel tool to carve it out. Now there's, there's a couple easy ways to do this. Um, if you are a decent artist, you can take the painter's tape and stick it on there and freehand it with a pen or something, sketch out what you wanna do. And then you could take the Dremel tool over that and peel the paint off when you're done. Although that would be fun, you can see from some of these past attempts that I've painted over that maybe my hand drawing isn't that great. So we're gonna get this octopus stencil, we're gonna put it on there, and we're gonna use a pen to trace over the lines and leave a slight indention on here that then I will go over with the Dremel after I remove the piece of paper. Well, luckily this paper's thin enough that I can see it uh, even though it's backwards. I'm gonna cut it out and place it on there, and then we'll get started with the actual engraving. Now that we've got it on here, I'm going to trace over it, pressing fairly hard so that I have an outline to follow for the engraving. Okay, you can barely see that outline on there. It's going to be a little difficult to trace, but I think I can do it. All right, so I'm going to begin the actual etching here. I've got two tips for this Dremel Micro. I've got a big fat one and a little skinny one. I'm going to start with the big fat one to get the details. Hold it just like a pencil, do nice slow motions, or if you want pointillism, you can lay your thumb down and just kind of tap it down with the rest of your hand pretty easy. Let's get started. Okay, I've taken care of the big fat areas. Now what I'm gonna do is switch to the little tip and do all of these lines. As I'm going, I'm comparing to the drawing that I have sitting here. Let's see if it looks okay. Okay, I've got the basic design done. However, I'd like to give it a little bit of a shaded look around it. So I'm just gonna freehand a few uh, shade points. Not bad for a first try. Now if you had to, with this one, you could go back over with black paint like I did with these old ones and fill in spots that you didn't like, so it'd be easy to kind of undo it, but I think this is a big improvement over what it looked like before. So here it is. I'm happy with it. It's not bad for about 20 minutes worth of work. I mean, I'm no Jamie Locke or Hank Robinson, but I like it a lot better than what I had before.